Hello and welcome back to the Combined Syndicates of America campaign in Kaiserreich. I'm Count Christo and uh, we're, we're coming near to the end now. The Third International has uh, has been joined and we are currently crushing the last vestiges of Middle Europa, which is very much what's East in German. <laughs> East Europa in being this area, being the only remaining area in it. So, we were just arriving, as I recall. Yes, okay. Right, I don't want to go to speed four. Uh, what do we want to change our government? Um, don't really think we need much. I mean, naval research time down. Motorize. Motorize wouldn't hurt. Just cheap motorize to mechanize. Yeah, sure. Okay, uh, it's been a little while. I apologize. I think there was a two day gap in the schedule recently. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, unavoidable, unfortunately. Right, so we're just getting in position. It's been a little landing down here, which I imagine the French will fight off, but just in case they don't, you guys, could you uh, divert and take the place that I'm going to continue calling Sapienza, even though I'm well aware it isn't. So, where do we still need to take? I think South America, the, the communists have it on lock. You've got these guys. Uh, who are the other syndicalists down here? Chile. Although... You're fascist. I mean, I'm not happy about you. I think Brazil's got it on lock. They, they can handle it down here. Someone wanted me to... Someone. Hawaii, the commenter, wanted me to look at the La Platan focus tree. So here you go. I'm not going to go through all of it, but, uh, but here it is. You've got some development stuff. You can integrate people. It's pretty cool. Get some cores. Economy. Looks pretty standard in terms of uh, the military stuff. Oh, that's a nice one. Two times for any land doctrine. Prepare for a Brazilian counter-attack. That's cool. But yeah, so there's that. Right. We're uh, just position. Are we allowed... I think we're just leaving... No, we're positioning quite a lot of men off the Russian border, but they're, uh, they're a way off yet. Okay, let's have them uh, stop in Hamburg rather than going through this ocean, I imagine. Yes. The Baltic is currently the domain of the, uh, the Russians. Okay, France. Uh, I can't have control of state. Why not? Since you do not have any war participation. Okay, we haven't actually helped yet. <laughs> right. Fair enough. That's a very reasonable <laughs> reason to not give me any land. Who else do we need to deal with? Morocco. Who are the majors? This is the Austrian one in which it's got to be... They're not in a uh, faction, so it doesn't matter. In this one, it's probably just the German Empire down here. How are we going to get here? Hmm. The Ottoman Empire is still looking a bit too imperial for me. Maybe we go through the Ottomans in order to get to Egypt and then to Germany. That could work. Okay, so the plane's arriving. Yep, total aerial supremacy established. Excellent. These guys getting here. Nearly ready to go and force them off. Well, the French can just hold the line for now, that's fine. Unfulfilled imports. What am I doing? Oh, that's right. We were um, trying to militarily support France, I think. We need much less of all this stuff. Well, that's a puppet, so that's fine. Was that us trying to militarily support France? Why, why on earth were we importing so much stuff from them? I imagine that must be what it was. Alright, once these guys are in position, we'll be able to crush in. We've got full-on crazy... Oh, no, these are actually uh, standard ones, but these are our full-on awesome 40 combat width. With the recon companies that I do not understand. <clears throat> okay, so. You attack with two people. Sorry, with... No, no, no that's, not, that's wrong. That's wrong. Let me stop. You attack with one person. You attack with the second person. Second person has initiative plus 7.4% chance. This unit has an initiative value of 30-ish. Uh, What's 7.5 to 30? It's almost a quarter. Right? Yeah. But not quite a quarter. So you get a quarter of the value of the initiative? Is that it? I don't know. It's weird, whatever it is. Okay. This looks woefully undefended. Sorry, Illyria. Your, uh, your overlord appears to have abandoned you. It's going to be a hopelessly easy push just here. You can go up there. You can take Graz. You guys would reinforce in here. 
that's going to be an absolute walkover in all of these battles, I imagine. Yep. Well, slightly tougher in the north, but we're mostly just stopping them from helping out the southern push. Well, helping out the victims of the southern push. There we go. Okay, where else looks undefended right now? Why am I getting such bad intel? Are we behind on, uh, on decryption? No, oh, sorry, encryption. No, we're not. They must have some modifier to their encryption, I guess. What? Oh, I thought that said encryption plus five. <laughs> plus five. That'd be insane. No, they don't. They do have the Vienna Circle, though. Hooray. <laughs> Represent. So, uh... Should be able to crush them out of here once it's actually our guys reinforcing the front. Maybe I should just wait for them, my guys, my allies to lose so that I can actually do the fighting. That's why I dislike the AI. They just, they fill up slots that would be so much better occupied by me. Oh, oh, oh Russia, you're in so much trouble. So is our supply, but... Hmm. Once I can, uh... Here we go. Alright, give me... Give me this. No? Give me unfair amount. All right. Well, let me just put some, do some work, and then hopefully they'll uh, agree that I deserve this land. Would you just lose, please, French? Oh, sorry. There's a dog outside. Let me shut my window. If they keep barking, that'll be very annoying. Oh, it's still freaking boiling up here. Ah. Right. There we go. Now we can do the fight, and of course, once we're in the fight, these poor encircled Ukrainians. Are pretty doomed. It's a bold move, Ukraine, <laughs> to divert the 12 divisions away from the front where you're fighting for your life, allowing it to be instead being held, be held by what looks like China? But you're in the Prosperity Sphere. What is that flag? That looks like China to me. Yeah, that's reorganized China. Why does reorganized China <laughs> have so many men in Ukraine when they're losing on their home front? It's odd. Very odd. Okay, the Illyrian push went predictably well. Let's just keep everyone going in here. Uh, yeah, there. You guys can go in there. You guys can go in there. Cool. God, there's nine of you there. We might as well take this province then. You can probably push there just through sheer weight of these uh, 40 combat widths. Weight is going to rapidly become an issue, especially since we're in the uh, the AI's faction. The AI's garbage at uh, dealing with supply. It's one of the worst things there about the AI, actually, at the moment. Their, their supply, their ability to comprehend that they're oversupply seems really bad. I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, I don't know what causes it. I'm not not in the know when it comes to coding. But whatever it is, I really hope they figure it out and fix it. We have some airways and no missions. In Hungary. Uh, you can do that for me, please. Looks like the enemy has no planes. Or isn't putting them in the air. Which is interesting. I'm surprised they haven't already capitulated. Ah, uh, Sarajevo is it's fairly valuable. Let's keep pushing in here. Let's uh, redeploy some of these guys in here. Let's get this war going at a decent pace. I could do with some tank divisions, really. But it's so late in the day that I feel like starting them now. I mean, it'll take so long for them to be trained and all that jazz. Just putting those there to make sure these guys don't escape from Sicily. Do, 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 do. You could come in here. We could encircle these guys. That'd be nice. Just keep them pinned there. Oh, no, they're going to win against them now. Oh, well. <laughs> we can circle these guys at least. Those Dutch divisions. No, who are they? That's Illyrian, right. Not very familiar with the Illyrian flag since they're so new. Well, this is complete breakthrough here. Not going their way. So the new uh, patch is coming out in uh, a short, what, 13 days? What's the date today? It's the first. 13 days. Good guess me. Yeah, 13 days till the next patch comes out. Death or dishonor. Hopefully Kai's right team is uh, the Kai's right team is very active and will update immediately. So I don't have to spend a single day without the glory of Kaiserreich. But uh, I will try and build up a bit of a backlog before the patch updates, because I'm sure there will be a, a slight lag between the patch and the uh, the release of a new version of Kaiserreich that's compatible with it. 
Of course, the case can be made that I should just stay on the old patch, but I can't stand doing that. Probably won't be save game compatible either. Uh, that's a thought, actually. Maybe I shouldn't start a new Kaiserite campaign yet until the new version comes out. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. We might do a... Because uh, it's in 13 days. This this has probably got, what, four more episodes in? Do you think? About that. So maybe I keep doing this for about, you know... Well, as long as it takes to win. I'm not going to rush the end. And then we just do a very short Kaiserite campaign. That's what we could do. We could just play as one of the other... Uh, American people and not do a full campaign but just win the Civil War because that would be a nice short campaign to do while we're waiting for the patch to get updated because I can't the Death of Dishonor patch thinking about all the new features it's adding won't make a huge difference to America I mean the Air War stuff affects everyone if you don't know the, the new patch looks great it's doing some really cool stuff uh, they're adding the new focus trees which as ever of course are going to be uh, less good and less interesting than Kaiserites but the mechanical stuff they're adding seems really interesting so you've got um uh, what's it called? Licensing. So you can build with your allies tech. You can request the ability to build with your allies technology, which is a really cool change. Uh, new old feature from uh, from Hoy 3 coming back in. Always nice to see. All right, what are we doing? We're doing liberty ships. That seems baffling. Oh, because we're trying to join the uh, this thing. Okay, so we'll do this one, and then we can join the uh, International Research Committee. Which we're probably founding right now, but we'll see. Um, field hospitals? Even better signal companies. Logistics companies, I think. Russian war requires logistics. There was a long conversation on the uh, the Hoi4 Facebook page, which is linked in the description, I think. If it's not in the previous episodes, it will be in this one, which you should all go and join. And uh, about whether or not the Soviet Union would have held off Germany if the US hadn't helped the United Kingdom. And if you consider helped to include Lend-Lease and Destroyers for bases and things, I reckon the USSR would have fallen. What do you think? Because the, the German logistic and si logistical situation would have been so much better. There goes Illyria. German logistical situation would be so much better if uh, if the you know the Brits were no threat. Because without the USA, the Brits run out of... Uh, run out of fuel, and then the Battle for Britain is decisive victory for the Germans. They get total air superiority. With total air superiority, the British fleet gets exterminated, and then the Brits are no threat. They sit on their island getting bombed, and probably they surrender. So without, the Ger without basically, the Allies, it's, so it's just the Axis versus the Communists. I reckon the Axis would win hands down. With no worrying about port garrisoning any of this, they wouldn't have to build the Atlantic Wall, which was a huge set of fortifications that went all the way around here, around here, and up here. They had millions, not, I know, was it millions of people? I think it was millions of people manning the defences that went all the way around the Atlantic. And, you know, huge amounts of labour and resources being pumped into building these coastal forts and things. It was, you know, a massive investment. If they'd spent all of that on improving their infrastructure and supply lines in Russia, and all the equipment that all those soldiers had, even if they didn't send extra soldiers to Russia, because the issue wasn't lack of soldiers so much as lack of equipment and, you know, cold weather gear. They put all of the resources into equipping those soldiers into really equipping well the soldiers they sent to Russia. I really feel like the uh, Germans would have had it. But if you disagree, let me know. I'd, I'd very much like to have a discussion on that one. I'm sure some of you have strong views in both directions, because it's the internet. <laughs> Right, you guys keep coming here. Do do do. Let's see if we can. Oh, you guys didn't capitulate when I took your capital last time, did I? Did you? Let's just let's just not advance on this front. Advancing on multiple fronts simultaneously. I mean, it's not really worth the effort. I mean, often it's worth the effort, but it's 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 a lot of effort. Is what I'm what I'm getting at. You guys are on such low organization. Is there bad supply here? No, we've recovered from the supply situation a bit. That's good. Maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm answering the AI. I don't know. See if we can. No, not that way. See if we can pocket these guys. Gonna need another couple of troops. I'm gonna try and pocket that by going down this river and then killing the guys in Odessa. Oh, what happened? Oh, there go the Austrians. 
Okay, well, uh, we did most of the work. Followed by Iberian Federation. Followed by Ireland. Followed by Chile. What? Oh, no, these people just passed. Okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna... I don't want to take part of it and then puppet it. And then release it as a puppet, really. But I think that's the only option. You can just release puppets, right? I think you can. Let's take some relatively nice borders. Like that. Oh, it looks like no one else is taking land. Okay. Well, that's fine. Then we can just release them as a puppet. That works. If we establish some foreign puppets, I mean, that seems it seems fine, doesn't it? Who's still in this war? These guys. <laughs> okay, I think there's about to be another peace deal. <laughs> all right, you lot can all be assigned to here. But, of course, we're not actually going to send them all up there. That would be insane. Who holds that province? Kingdom of Illyria, who's still at war with us. Interesting. Let's wait for this second peace deal, and then we'll deal with the front, new front line situation. I imagine there'll be a peace deal at the end of today. There we go. Okay, let's pass. No one else seems to have any interest in taking land, which is odd. Oh, no, they did take Illyria. No, Illyria is independent. Excuse me, what? We took Poland. Oh, there we go. Okay, this time someone took something. Who took this? This French took some land. Okay, well, here, I'm going to take the rest. No. Some of the rest. I'll take the coast. Okay, that's... I mean, <laughs> to say it's been balkanized is a bit hitting the nail on the head a little bit, isn't it? Who's this? Ah, Italy, right. Socialist Republic of Italy, yep, that's what we wanted anyway. Okay, well, um, who has claims here? The Kingdom of Croatia. Do they exist? No. So hopefully we'll get to release them. We'll release... Uh, Hungary and Poland. Germany has extended their borders a bit. That's cool. Oh, something's happening today. I imagine that's people releasing provinces here. Oh, no, it's the Germans have released the Czech Republic. Interesting. Interesting. We're going to get a couple of days of uh, some slowdown here, probably. Okay, now let's not do what I was complaining the AI does all the time. I reckon now... Everyone in this theatre that is a, uh, a non-40 combat width, I think they can all go home. Probably. Wait, sorry, in this theatre, on this front line. Like, I'm not sure these guys are required anymore. 40 combat widths are heavy. We've got great logistical companies right now. So hopefully we shouldn't be too bad on that front. Who else are we still at war with? There's the war in China, but it looks like that's going our way pretty seriously, because we have uh, Qing on our side. Hmm. I wonder if we'll need to send troops over there. Please, Paradox. This is so dull. <laughs> Find a way that I can just click and drag and select everything I drag over. That would make it so much easier. It'd be a brilliant change. That's not my idea, by the way. I got that from someone. I can't remember who. Was it Adaway? I think it may have been Adaway. Fine gentleman I did a uh, collab with. Plans to do two collabs with. I think we're going to do another one at some point. It should be fun. Do, 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 do. Grab this guy. Gosh, there's a lot of them, isn't there? We're almost there, though. Oh, it's so hot in my room. <laughs> Can't stand it. It's partly because of the computer, of course. All right, so you guys. Oh, we're, we're the Ottomans. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice. All right, well, I guess we'll... Uh, oh, the Soviets in, the puppet, in a faction with Romania. I guess they puppeted them during the Balkan War. Okay, well, war with, uh, war with them then, I guess. We're currently justifying against the uh, Central America, yeah. Right. So I guess we go to war with Romania to give ourselves access through to Bulgaria and the Ottomans. And from there, we can head down into Africa. I mean, Egypt, Egypt really ought to be British, right? <laughs> so we could probably go take them out. All right. Let's go down to speed four. Now we're not just waiting for a peace deal. Oh, God, I've got to reassign these guys. All you guys are there. And you guys should be still in the same field marshal. Oh, it's, it is letting me do this now. No, it isn't. Weird. don't know why I highlighted them in that kind of checkered, you can put a front line here and it'll make sense thing. There we go. 123, five divisions. That's too many, isn't it? Where should we put the others? Over here? 
I find that these six can probably handle it. Let's send some of them over here. Like 30 of them, just to, you know, might as well go overboard. Uh, where else can we do with troops? I guess 30 is okay. Let's, let's put 30 up here to help with the northern push. There's really bad supply up here, so having smaller divisions won't hurt. Okay, well, that is the end of that episode. Uh, we've successfully beaten out the uh, the Habsburg Empire is no more. But uh, in the next episode, we're going to take Morocco. Ooh, who's currently at war with France? No. Who has a very weird shaped... How does this border happen? They're not at war. I guess one of the people that they are at war with took this province and then they could take it. Okay, well, in the next episode, um, possibly some serious progress against the Ukrainians and the White Ruthenians, and then on to Russia, on to the Donkoban Union. But until then, thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.